<laughs> Could do some drums. Did I miss work this morning? I don't know. I you didn't. It. Oh. I doubt it. Who did the show, Roz? Jim Collins did the Jim show. Collins. Getting a little work, huh? Roz doesn't even work on holidays. Yeah. Now Roz doesn't work yeah. on holidays. But we do, because we're like scum. Yep. Randall Von Bongart and the general manager doesn't show up, but I have to. You know what I saw? There was a wonderful article on what makes a good boss in the Daily News and? this uh, past weekend. I think we ought to go over that and tell you what Pig Virus should be doing for us that he's not. Is Pig Virus here today working? Yeah. He is here? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's because he has no social life. <laughs> and that's because he doesn't work during the rest of the week. Yeah. <laughs> now, Pig Virus always shows up on holidays, and he's yeah. busy working because he has nowhere to go. He has no friends. That's Nobody true. Nobody likes him. He has no girlfriend. And that way, if he pretends that he has so much to do here, nobody mm. realizes what a terrible, miserable life he has. The only way our boss gets girls is to uh, hire him here, offer yeah. him some, like, typing jobs, and then he scores with them. And then I also heard, you know what else he does? <laughs> what? Now, this sounds, it's typical Pig Virus. Yeah. He hangs out at a club where professionals, you know what I'm talking about here? Yeah. Professional uh, women. Prostitutes? Yeah, you know, yeah. that oldest profession where they go when they want to have a good time. Okay. Does he really? And, and when, you know, like they're out looking for, you know, somebody to score with. He goes to the club and he figures, well, hey, I'm available. Well, he and he gets for, picked up by prostitutes. Looks for freebies, so he doesn't yeah. pay for it. No. He no. goes, he's like trying to be a pimp. Yeah. Yeah, it's typical <laughs> pig bar. He's trying to get a stable of women together <laughs> so he can get out of the radio biz. Goodness. Yeah, but he's here today. He's working hard. God knows doing what. I don't know. But I heard his little typewriter clicking away in his office. He types memos. Here, here's a new memo today. Here's uh -oh. a memo from Pig Virus, okay, for today. Talent note. Effective immediately, drop the heaters. This is lingo. This is programming lingo that only he understands. <laughs> We're supposed to understand this memo. What the heck is a heater? You know what a heater is? I think it's a jingle that says the hits are hotter. Let me hear that jingle. We're not supposed to play this one? The are hotter. W -N -B -C. So the deal is we don't use that? I guess so. I guess he found out it wasn't true. <laughs> I guess after playing that Laura Brannigan record, we couldn't say that anymore. Just says, segue on through, use transitional jingle in positions where you would previously use the heater. Keep it mm. tight and move forward. Sell the, sell the N. What does that mean, sell the N? I don't know. He, oh, I guess it means W and B C. Yeah, right? but he writes these memos. I don't understand them. I'm supposed to understand yeah, they're them. They're like hieroglyphics. Effective immediately. Drop the heater. Seg on through. Use transition jingle in position where you would previously use the heater. Keep it tight. And move forward. Sell the M. <laughs> <laughs> and we're supposed to know what he's talking about. Boy, if he wants us oh to say boy. W and B C, just say, you know, just say W. Emphasize the N. Yeah. Sell the N. Sell the N. <laughs> Maybe he's been talking to Leon Hess. You never know. Yeah. Hey, what's the deal? Uh, all right, let's sell the end. Okay. Let's sell the end right, right now. How are you going to do that? How much you want to pay for the end? I'm going to throw in a lot. Pay for our end. <laughs> We're yeah, selling the our end. The end is for sale. It's a little joke. Yeah. Obviously, and she very didn't get little. It. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll entertain you. We're going to play some music for you. Yes, but they're not hot hits anymore. WNBC. Elton John, Honky Cat at NBC. 415, your pals, How Weird and Robin. What does that mean? <laughs> That's uh, Elton John trying to act like a Negro. Oh, I see. You know. <laughs> Get back, Honky Cat. Looks mm. like a white man. What's he want? Do you know? Pig virus on the phone. Yeah. The moment you mention his the name. The moment you vote. Oh, oh he Pig hung virus up hung on up. us. I was going to put him on the air. Was he? Did he sound mad? Perturbed, I think. Uh -oh. Perturbed. Oh, why? Because we said he had no social life? <laughs> oh, the truth hurts. We can't help that. Mm -hmm. I was going to put him on. He's going to give him his chance to rebut. <laughs> but, uh, I guess not. But he butted out. Hey, no traffic reports today. Yeah, there's Great. no traffic. No traffic today. And since 85% of our listeners are in cars. <laughs> there's no listeners today. Well, 
I'm glad there's no traffic report today. It always yeah. clogs up the show. It's always ruining the show. I, you know, Roz gets real sensitive. Well, when wait I, a minute. Let's say this about that. It doesn't. It doesn't have to ruin the show. But it does. <laughs> Roz gets real sensitive when I talk about how boring the traffic reports are because, you know, basically I'm not in my car, so I mm -hmm. think they're boring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but she but gets... the thing is that we, ha we have to sit around and think up ways to make Roz interesting yeah. and to bring her into the show. Yeah. So, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to start putting the responsibility on Roz That's when she gets right. back. Let her start thinking up some bits. And cop to traffic reports Monday through Friday on WNBC, sponsored by Chevrolet. Chevy brings you front-wheel drive and room enough to enjoy it, WNBC. How easy is it? Bad corners for beds. Yeah. This special sale is now on at Benson's headquarters, Manhattan. Mr. Sleep bedquarters, the story of CV bedquarters. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, I can't concentrate on the show because evidently Pig Virus is mad with us. Uh-oh. He was ringing on both hotlines. Boy, what did we say? <laughs> I don't know. He's probably upset because we said he, he tries to score with prostitutes. Well, he does. <laughs> he told me that himself. Anyway, go over to Koala Bedquarters, Ozone Park, and PM Sleep Bedquarters, Huntington Station. Call 212-381-5700 for exact location. Member FDIC. This is a special report from WNBC News on the funeral for Cardinal Terrence Cook. WNBC, 430 at NBC. Hey, it's a thrill to be with you on Columbus Day. Come on. <laughs> it's a thrill. We Don't love lie. it. It's a great job coming in on a holiday. They could have had, uh, Pig Virus could have done the show today. Sure. He's got nothing else to do. And he could use the exercise. Mm -hmm. Or BB or somebody like that. Well, BB, oh, there's no court today, there's right? No jury BB duty. Be available. <laughs> BB could have come in and done the show. Mm. One of those guys. Let's see why I'm working. 431 to WNBC. What are we doing? What are we doing? Aren't we going to... Just want to take some phone calls and spots and do that? Uh, you want to do that? Let's just see if anyone's listening today. On the air. <laughs> 64 degrees. Oh, I tell you, Jackie hasn't been here in a while. It takes him a while to get used to it again. <laughs> Jackie's telling me how no Orientals have sideburns. Oh. That would explain Connie Chung's lack of sideburns. Oh, dear. Orientals don't, because I went out in the hall. There's a, a Chinese guy who cleans up out there. He doesn't have sideburns. Is that true? Yeah. I have never heard that. But they make great cars, and they also <laughs> make great um, TVs. I work for RCA, basically, but, you know, because this is RCA-owned company. Right. But I buy Japanese, and so does RCA. NBC is filled with uh, Japanese equipment. Sure. Right? <laughs> Isn't it? Everybody's going, what, what? <laughs> what did he just say? The television in this studio is a Sony. What well, is how'd that? how did that happen? It's not marked. It's an unmarked Sony. That's a Sony? How do you know that? It's not, it doesn't say Sony. We saw the box that came in. Oh. oh. <laughs> Engineers are always so busy. It's amazing they had time to look at a box that came in. There's tons of Sony equipment around here. I tell you. It amazes me. You're on the air. Hello. Hello. Oh, and hey, how do you like Roz's new traffic reports? Oh, I love them. I love them. But I want to. I want her to do a, a sexy bit the next time. I want her to be coo Frank. You want her to be sexy? Coo, coo Frank. Frank? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, maybe we'll do a sex thing next yeah. with like her moaning and stuff. By the way, I want to thank you for bidding the Phillies and uh, Robin. Yeah. Bidding the Orioles, I wouldn't say you're going to lose. But I'm going to be looking in the real estate section of the Times next week for your house. <laughs> Comedian, huh? Gee, Jackie, I don't know. This guy might get your spot at uh, <laughs> really, Jackie, You better give up that chair. <laughs> are you, what are you doing? Uh, you doing a monologue? <laughs> Moving right along, let's talk about the Orioles and the, uh, <laughs> and the Phillies. And the Phillies. <laughs> dan -dan 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 -dan. Why don't you give this guy the Johnny Carson theme while he's, uh, since he's like monopolizing the entire program. Go ahead. What else do you have to say? Oh, well. <laughs> what? Um, figuring out. <laughs> Oh, you're yeah, working on under some... pressure. Yeah. Oh. Well, you know, they're really... No, being serious, they're not really... Uh, there's a picture here in the Enquirer of uh, two of them choking around, so whether they lose or not, I don't think there's going to be any hard feelings. Hey, he's a scream, huh? <laughs> Is he doing oh, that monologue? Oh, Go ahead, man. Don't stop now. Don't let us interrupt your monologue. The laughs oh, well. are coming. The laughs are coming a mile a minute. Hi. How you doing, Howard? You're on the air. Yeah. Uh, 
what did I want? <laughs> Listen, your show is really good, and uh, I tell you, you know, Ross is really adding a good dimension tonight with those traffic reports. He's yeah, because wasn't the traffic boring before? It was terrible. No, oh. it is. No, it is. <laughs> I agree with you, man. The traffic stinks. Almost as bad as Judy's newscast. <laughs> Judy's newscasts are going to be the next thing we work on. We're going to get those to be less boring. More... You know, makes them good at your sound effects. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to put more sound into the news. we got to put right. more sound, and there are a few other things we're thinking of doing with that, too. Yeah. What? Can I uh, do a rec out session with you? <laughs> That's not what we're doing, no, at all. No, i got to go. <laughs> I think it's time for that traffic. I can't wait to see what Roz comes all up right. with next. Let's Coop just... Frank sounds like a good idea to me. All right. Let's see a little sex. Bobby, do the whip thing behind the uh, traffic report. And maybe Roz will deliver it in a sexy kind of voice. Yeah. One company provides cars and trucks to satisfy the wants and needs of virtually every man and woman in the USA. That's today's Chevrolet. Chevrolet sponsors the Zencopter Report with WNBC's Coup Frank. <laughs> well, well, we'll, you... do, we'll do that for the wrapper. All right. In other words, Roz isn't <laughs> doing it for a gum wrapper. Don't. Because people don't understand that kind of lingo, Roz. Oh, we'll do it for the wrapper. We wrap up at 640. Right. At 640, it'll playing? be Coos Frank. What do you got? Some dope slipping out there? The outbound Holland Tunnel in good yep. shape for you. And ditto coming in. The Lincoln easing up. Maybe about a 10-minute delay. Coming in about a 5 to 10. Westside Highway heavy from 110. The encounter. We will wrap it up at 640 on WNBC. When you think about applying... 66 WNBC. about it. Billy Joel. Billy Joel. With his girl, Christy Christy. Brinkley. Mm. You still jealous, Howard? Not jealous, just part of me. Well, I guess I envy the guy. (laughs) You know it. You know it. I mean, every guy does. You watch that and you go, she is so fine. You check her out on that uh, video. (laughs) She's so nice looking. She's beautiful. She's and perfect. like she and like Billy goes home, man, and she's waiting for him. Yep. And he touches her. <laughs> it's not like we touch magazines and see her. She like he gets to touch her. She's actually there. If she was my girl, I wouldn't even leave. <laughs> I wouldn't leave the house, but I would never demand. I would never demand sex from her. I would just say, I just want to touch you or look at you without your clothes on. <laughs> And That's you don't even have to. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm she saying I wouldn't. With that. I wouldn't put pressure on her. I would just coming home to her was enough. Just getting done with the day's work, uh-huh. walking into the house, having Christy waiting for me, maybe <laughs> just an apron, and that all with high heel shoes. <laughs> That's enough for me. Oh, that's that's all she has to do. Oh, boy. And then if she wanted to have sex with me, that would just be a bonus. <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> you poor thing. I don't think it's ever going to happen, though. It could, though. Maybe. Am I right? No. Here's kind of a wacky idea. What? <laughs> if, um... If you send me a snapshot... Oh, not this wacky idea. Look at Neil staring at us while we work. Neil Seavey. <laughs> who used to be the newscaster on this program, but we threw him off. Neil goes, congratulations on your high ratings. I said, yeah, because we threw you off. We got high ratings. Stop, Howard. You're being cruel. I'm kidding with you. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) Bobby, what are you coaching Neil, telling him what to say? Well, you have to turn down the monitor so we don't get feedback. Right. No, Neil's a good guy. He is. He's a funny guy. In a bizarre kind of way. All you got to do is send me a snapshot of yourself in your wildest, weirdest, most bizarre Halloween costume, and mm-hmm. you could be one of ten finalists. I choose who will win your own Halloween mask from the Halloween shops at Sears. <laughs> that's not a Wait joke. Wait a minute, that's not funny. <laughs> this is something the promotions department worked hard on. Don't laugh. You know, there's a lot of people who actually spend time that like working at this. Yeah. Like, their job is to come up with these things. This was the biggest deal they could swing. Be sure to listen on Friday, October 22nd, because I might describe your costume on the air. Ooh. Send photos with your name, address, and phone number to Halloween Mass, Post Office Box 1234, New York, New York, 10101. Prize is furnished by Theath Halloween Shop in exchange for promotional announcements. Photos submitted become the property of WNBC Radio and will not be returned. Think Channel. Think Channel. Thank you. 6.33 WNBC. 
We're going to do Stump the Comedians? Yes, we are. You're on the air. Hello, Howard? Yeah. How uh, are you, Howard? I'm Indian, calling to protest your comments about Indian physicians. Are you really Indian, or is this a fake? This is oh, a no, fake. Howard, please. I'm from Dum Dum. Uh, from Dum Dum? He's, he's, he's a fake. <laughs> he's a fake? Yeah. It's a pretty good Indian accent. Faker. Let's give it to the guy. Nah. He's an Indian faker. Let's hear your... I'm no faker. You're not a faker. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, you know, how we, are, we Indians are here to make better life for ourselves, you know? Times are very tough. Come on, let me hear your regular voice. Howard, do you know... Let me hear your regular voice. Do, Howard, this is my regular voice. See, Maybe the R's real. are too hard. Too hard, the R's. Robin says the imp- You're no Rich Little. Uh, please. <laughs> this guy thinks we just jumped over. No, the only thing is, is that um, whenever I go to the hospitals now, all they got is Indian doctors, man. I don't let those guys touch me. But, Howard, times are very difficult in India. Do you know in India... I wish the Indians would... Uh, never mind. Yeah, I wish I the mean, Indians would... not even an Indian. <laughs> I wish the Indians would, like, treat the Indian people. <laughs> and it's just... When I go to a hospital... Like the emergency room, and I got to pay seventy-five bucks. I just want one of our own boys looking me over. You know what I mean? That's my own personal preference. Unfortunately, our own boys are having trouble getting into American colleges, so they're going to Mexico. Yeah. See, the Americans go to Mexico to treat the Mexicans. The Indians come here and treat us. I just want a regular American doctor. Yeah, they're hard to find. They're so hard to find, and you go to the hospitals, they, they stick you with some Indian guy, <laughs> who you know was studying in India, and if. I mean, let's face it. Look at the people in India. They're so sick. They're all dying and oh, everything. Stop, who wants Howard. Who wants an Indian person looking at us? I'm sorry. That's one man's opinion, okay? Indian doctors make good doctors. Oh, Bobby's going, oh, that's sick. <laughs> yeah, you go to some Indian doctor, right? <laughs> I heard they're very fine doctors. Thank you, Bobby. <laughs> you heard from who? <laughs> you don't know from Somebody personal experience. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> well, it just makes me mad. Seventy-five dollars to visit the emergency room over at Long Island Jewish, and they gave me an Indian guy. <laughs> Indians happen to be very bright. Why don't they call it Long Island Indian? <laughs> I mean, when I go to Long Island Jewish, I want a Jewish doctor. <laughs> I don't want an Indian. <laughs> what? I agree with you. Of course you agree with me. I bet you that James Watt likes to go to that hospital, too. This guy has gotten through before. He has? I recognize this. Well, what's wrong with that? There's no law against that. Oh, yeah. He sounds intelligent. I'm glad to have him on the air. Well, I don't know about Pleasure that. Pleasure to be on the air with you. James Watt said, um, James, Watt, James Watt said a whole bunch of things that he's now fired for, but some of them I have to agree with that he said. <laughs> he goes, Indian reservations were examples of the failure of socialism with the highest rates of unemployment, drug abuse, venereal disease, and alcoholism in the country. <sighs> now, why is that wrong to say? Indian reservations ha- are filled with alcoholism. Making some very good statements about that. Oh, please. <laughs> he was. I mean, it's true, though, right? I'm, I saw a report in 60 Minutes about that. Oh, goodness. Then he says, he said, someone suggested that it might be, he suggested, Watt suggested, it would be dangerous to be operated on by a black brain surgeon. <laughs> His reasoning was a black brain surgeon might have been admitted to medical school under an affirmative action program. Yeah, but look what he did to Jesse Jackson. No, what I'm saying is, is that, I don't see anybody in this room going to black brain surgeons. Oh, stop it. Alex. I know. Nobody here needs a black brain surgeon. I never knew there was one. <laughs> oh, get this guy hey, off the phone. You're a He's racist. He's more racist I'm than not. you, Howard. Hey, get out of here. <laughs> no, but, I mean, <laughs> some of the things Watts said made sense. They do make sense. Seriously, they do. Hey, what's he still doing? For some reason, I can't hang up on this uh, guy. Uh, yeah, you like this guy? Yeah, I like him. No then Va- <laughs> then Watt was known as a vocal born again Christian who said he didn't know whether the wild the wilderness should be preserved for future generations because the Lord could come back at any time. And Religious what that man means I don't know. That I didn't agree with. You don't agree with that? But that's nothing to be fired over because he's <laughs> religious. And then it says here that Watt improperly used government funds when his wife and him threw a couple of parties that they hosted. But they all do that. They all do it, man. <laughs> they all do that. Right you take this new general manager. Oh, no. He bills everything. He took me out to dinner. I'm sure he billed it on the company card. And Pig Virus took me to, um, where was that, uh, Joe's Kipnis, Joe Pier. Yeah. He took me to Joe's Pier for about 150 bucks. me, Roz, and him when I first got here. He charged it to uh, NBC. Pig Virus took you out somewhere? Yeah, well, this is before I started working here when he was trying to be my friend. Oh. He, was, he was there. Let's all, Let's order some... Lobster bisque. And over at Joe's Pier, that goes for like five bucks a cup. But he billed it to NBC. Nobody put him in trouble for that. So big deal. Watt was uh, billing some stuff to the government. Well, no, you can you, appreciate it. Pig Virus is a tough DJ. He's one of the worst sounding people I've ever, I've ever heard on the air. He's almost as bad as Johnny Talk. 
Oh. Yeah, this guy can uh, really hey. discern radio talent. You know something? You're a uh, you're quite a connoisseur, aren't really? you? Really? <laughs> I, I, for a moment there, I didn't think you were so bright, but now I'm beginning to change my mind. What do you do for a living? I am a computer programmer. Mm. No wonder you're such an authority on radio. <laughs> that would make sense, because most radio stations are run by computer. Mm-hmm. Or guys who think like computers. <laughs> Right. I really can't believe, though, Howard, that you agree with many of the things James Wilson No, I don't said. agree, but I'm saying I don't think he deserved to be fired. Cause I've well, said... he wasn't fired. He resigned. Yeah, well. So you're right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hey, take it easy. Yeah, Koch wasn't fired for calling the U.N. a garbage dump. Mm, was calling it says who? Pool. Well, the U.N. a garbage dump. Because every city has to have a garbage dump. I mean, he wasn't fired for that. You know, everybody... He should have been fired for vomiting on that Italian <laughs> restaurant, though. <laughs> that was embarrassing, man. The mayor can't hold his wine. I know it. Then the oh mayor dear. the mayor says, well, first he went, Bleh. then he said, he claims it was the hot cappuccino which brought on the attack. <laughs> it's just he can't hold his wine. That's why we endorse a black candidate for mayor. <laughs> Get a man in there who can drink wine. Get a black man in there who can drink four or five bottles of Thunderbird. Oh, Howard. And never vomit. <laughs> Who brought this up? I, I don't gotta know. i got to get out of here. How did we get to this? Let's play a song, then we'll go to Roz. WNBC. <laughs> Sheena Easton, telephone, 639 NBC. I've been away from you for far too long. WNBC. Roz Frank is going to uh, do a voice for the traffic report next, because we, we got on our butt about it, because the traffic's too damn boring. As far as I'm concerned. You mean we haven't done Roz's traffic yet? No. <laughs> she may not do that voice, Howard. No, she will. America's on the move and Chevrolet is supplying the wheels. Chevrolet and you taking charge. Chevrolet sponsors the Sencopter Report with WNBC's Coup Frank. Well, we're going to try to get everybody home now. Like uh, good. This is good. Yeah. Do it like that. And Bobby, every once in a while, throw in a whip. Northbound on the FDR has just been a real smooth ride all afternoon long. Outbound Triborough, no problems for you. 59 Midtown Tunnel looks good out and coming in. Ditto for the Triborough Bridge. Southbound on the FDR, still heavy to 96th Street, but I don't think I'd worry about it. One little bit. Eastbound Grand Central, a little bit better for you than the LIE. Still some slow spots on the LIE heading into Nassau County. The Bronx looks good. The Rock's Neck Whitestone Bridges, you know those bridges go both ways, and they're both in fine shape for you. On the north and west side highway, heavy from the 100s going up through the construction because of earlier tie-ups. If you'd like to use Riverside Drive, no one will fault you for that. Southbound Cross Island looks good. We have a late tie-up at the outbound George Washington Bridge. Upper level accident in the right lane. Make it the lower roadway. Police reporting now coming in. Westbound on the LIE. Tractor trailer. Exit 37. Willis Avenue. Lanes are blocked. You might want to use the Northern State instead. I'm Rise Frank in the Encopter. I'll see you tomorrow at 640 with Imus in the morning on that was, WNBC. That was pretty good. More moaning, though. More moaning? More, more teasing. More foreplay. More teasing. <laughs> more moaning. More... Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, I like this. I like I like the uh, traffic reports better like this. Yes, believe me, this is a decided improvement. Yeah, I like it. Thank you. Nice job. Thanks. Miss Show Business, Raj Franco, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, don't say this never happened to you. You walk to the door of your home. You put the key in the lock. And just for a second, you think, I hope everything is all right inside. You hope that some slimy scum hasn't taking the subway out to your beautiful suburban home. <laughs> you know how disgusting it is when you open that door and you think some filth bag from the inner city could be robbing your home at this very moment. You think you're safe in Dick's Hills. You bought a home for $190,000. It's got a swimming pool, brick backyard, five bedrooms. You think you're protected, right? Dick's Hills. There's no criminal element in Dick's Hills. <laughs> You jerky! Don't you know what's doing out there? What's brewing? It's worse than an infection, what's out there. There's all kinds of scum rolling the streets there. At night, you can't see them, but they're out there. <laughs> you know what you need? Security. That's right, an MRA security system. Absolutely. Are you sure all we need is a security system? I don't care if you live out in Huntington, man. <laughs> You think that you don't think slime can get out to Huntington? All they got to do is take a train out there for three or four bucks, and then they make about a couple of grand robbing your house dry. You think the scum is too stupid to get on the Long Island Railroad and go out to your house, don't you? Shows how naive you really are. 
<laughs> sure, sit there. Sit there without any protection whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, the Pope says don't use protection, but hey, let me tell you something. I'd use protection if I were you. <laughs> MRA security systems. Right now, they can install them. Here's the number. Don't sit there like a sitting duck. <laughs> Quack. 1-800-MRA-6969. 1-800-MRA-6969. Call MRA Security right now and put a security system in your home. 24-hour protection. Chevy Tough is taking charge. A health and fitness center on Merrick Avenue, East Meadow, Long Island. Call 516... We're on the air. Call oh, 516... Excuse me. No Greg Buttles jokes. <laughs> Call 516-999-5555. 516-999-5555. 